Good morning, Starshine. Before young Dawn with her rose-red fingers shone once more, Gerald Williams, he always wakes up early, and though generally a pile of garbage as a human being, he rises from golden slumbers. The early morning consists of routines. Today we plow a field. The early bird gets the worm. Like a Benedictine monk, I find respite in toil, and I take great joy in the fields. Agricola means farmer in Latin. Agricola Culture was the way of my ancestors. Man cannot live on bread alone. And while the dawn is still young, we complete our work for the day. Nourishing, but bad for happiness. I seek you, Daimonia. Join me on this spiritual quest for the good life which consists entirely of material gain, namely items made of metal I seek. For through these metal items we reach our human ends of greater magnitude. The first item on my list is this warehouse. Want to see me clean it? Want to see me do it again? It, that actually took an entire day. Unfortunately, dismantling boxes yields depression and boredom. The only cure is doing these three things in order. Eat worms, read a magazine, take antidepressants, and then just run around outside. Eventually, you'll be happy. If it doesn't make you happy, at the very least, it'll make you a damn good carpenter. I frolic outside. I used to subscribe to the notion that wealth and abundance would yield happiness. But in reality, right action, as the Stoics taught, follows when the will is in harmony with the mind. Observe the flourishing of my crops. Just as nature flourishes, so too does the soul of the magnanimous man. You are after all, you are what you eat. If so, that makes me a potato. I am a potato. Look at my young cabbages. He who is poor of diet is poor of spirit. We are the result of our habits, and contentment can be reached without the blaring of trumpets, and truth can be found in the smallest of actions undertaken by the owner of a good will. So today in Project Zomboid, we undertake to live the blessed life. I find strength in labor, and respite in hard work. For my first magic trick, I will shape wood. Today in Project Zomboid, I have a whole ass load of tasks to complete, but first I'm going to need a pencil. There's there's a pen in here. I'm also going to need to repair a door. Time's a wasting. I go back into my sketchy warehouse and write on my note. I have important tasks today, but first I need to claim this sheet of paper. Hard labor builds character, friction makes fire, and fire burns bodies. Or at least it used to. Now they just decay on their own, but I'm, I mean, it's nice to watch anyway. Fire can bring life, but it can also kill. So we put out the fire for now. And it, it turns out I accidentally burned my note with my to-do list on it. And after only a few more hours of disassembly, we're finally good at something. But as in real life, there are trade-offs. For being good at something, we're also depressed, extremely bored, and tired, as well as cold, and under a heavy load, and hungry. And for only that small price to pay, we can now build a door. Yes, a door! It may not be a very good door, but it's my door. And you can go in, or out. On top of that, I'm gonna augment this original construction a bit. I'd feel significantly safer if I were walled in here. They may not be very good walls, but they're my walls, and they're good enough for me. And a lucky find, I just realized that there's a shotgun in this other warehouse. Not very usable yet, but it will make for good experience shooting. And now clearing out the warehouse, many days of labor has not only made me bored, but also induced a depression. Severe depression. I emerge back out in the wide world stronger, though damaged, and starving as well. My only true happiness is sleep. It's time to eat, even if it's a little early. Ten fresh cabbages should take good care of me, and hopefully they'll put a little bit more meat on my bones. I'm at 52 kilograms and dropping, and eating ten cabbages in a row has been enough to stabilize my weight. Soma can cure my depression. And now it's time for a little adventure. If nothing else, boredom is the worst killer, and I still plan on staying in my base for a while, so it's time to gather up a crowd. We have some over here. All we need are a few. We can reload our gun and begin. Mostly just beginner's luck, but if we can gain some initial shooting experience here and connect, there's a chance we'll be able to get onto more advanced weaponry later. Extreme panic, however, isn't going to do us much good, and until we find some beta blockers, we aren't going to connect much. We don't want to lead them back to our base too far, but I think we're fairly remote out here, and I honestly wouldn't mind clearing out the nearby 
by woods. Guns have improved significantly in this game. I feel safe. Completely safe. And with that, it looks like we've gained a skill in arms. Aiming level one. And now we can actually stand on zombies while we reload to shoot them. The targeting system has improved significantly as well. But now I am acting pretty foolhardy. It's time to lead them back away from my base. On our way out of here. This is getting to be more than I'd bargained for. Was it worth it? No. Was it fun? Yes. And I, I think that might have actually been my final... My final round. Ah, uh, that had a greater radius than I had expected as well. We might be dealing with a little assault tonight. But if it means I can get a watch, it'll have been worth it. No watch. No watch. No one has a watch. And now we have about... 20 headed straight for my base. They don't know I'm in here. I hope they don't know I'm in here. There's really not much danger for me. My one fear is the crops and them treading over them. But my potatoes have flourished. But if nothing else, it's an opportunity to train more stealth before we head back out to the main city. One. Now it's very easy to get a kill. Hard labor has tempered my body. And while there's not a lot of time to negotiate these hordes, I can- Oh, shit. I thought I could get some clothing here. One fallen among them was a park ranger. But I don't think there'll ever be a chance at getting back to him. It seems I've drawn half the town. I have one option here, but later on I can clear them back out, and it'll make the path to my base safer. Each and every zombie truly is a threat, and getting tired every two seconds won't help me much here either. I'm gonna need a systematic plan if I want to keep improving here. I need something that'll keep me around for years to come. Ideally a car. Spears are better weapons, though sometimes I have delay. I have a multitude of options, truly. Some some better than others, at least for keeping them at bay, and far from me. I think I might have made a huge mistake here, though. Fortunately, I have several warehouses, which I can lead them around now, though. And I should be able to take on one or two at a time in a way that's totally safe. And I can utilize old methods of eliminating them. I've lost them for the time being, but they did take off my helmet. And I scratched my hand on some glass on my way out the window. Better the window than their teeth. And it reveals this bitchin' beard. I am truly badass. And I can do this. If you don't know what to do, just swing haphazardly. And still no dice on that, uh, watch. I did find a new pair of boots, though. Slightly better condition than my current ones. Definitely worth a shot here. And a crash helmet. I think that this is better than anything I've had. It might not look very cool, but what is cool when you're having fun? Well, needless to say, I don't feel great about the way things are going here. I might need to get further away from civilization. It's just not worth the risk. It's time to go back and claim what's ours. From the zombie menace occupying all of Knox County. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Shit, 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 shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And when you look at that, I'm stronger at last. Progressing along evenly but nicely, not really in one class though. Uh, that's broken. On to knives. And now I'm just losing count. You can't touch this. That works apparently. Just doing this. That's another three for the count. And it looks like a nice fog is starting to roll in that might actually give me a shot at getting out of here again. I've probably ki how many is it now? 200 exactly. Splendid, splendid. The cover of this much fog should serve as a perfect opportunity. While it can be deadly, it's also hunting time. And I can certainly use this to gain some sneak skill. But it looks like I've got a whole crap load of them over there. I wonder if I can gain sneak skill through this. This used to be my favorite thing to cheese. I've always been grateful for my cardiovascular fitness. But some of them are just very hardy, and I'm not particularly good at anything. Kind of a shame, but something we'll get a handle on soon. Sometimes I do question the amount of stabbing it takes. Still, we can pretty much farm sneaking XP over here. I've now killed literally hundreds of zombies. All for some vitamins. I don't even have a goddamn watch. 200 people, nobody was wearing a watch. Sad day for Gerald Williams. But if you think for one goddamn second that I regret shooting that shotgun, Gun. Probably right. <laughs> I, I, do, I do regret it. I do. I do very much. But eventually I would have to train up these stats somehow. And it'd probably be in some similar fashion. Instead of normal combat, this just means uh, a, a whole lot of kiting. Yes, that's right. Kiting usually works. Well, that's just about gonna do it. I think this is the last zombie. Ten seconds of shooting made up for by one week of clearing a road. But on the other hand, our character is now much better at stealth. We might actually become nimble. We're gonna have to find large hordes to game that, though. Sneaking 
Our weapon classes have improved a lot, too. The only one I don't really trust is the knife. I think the spear is much safer now. It's also just a matter of making sure that these woods are safe. I'm not gonna go into them yet. I'd rather just call them out and wait. Yeah, there's one coming out of the woods right now. Uh, and another one. I'm glad I didn't go in there. Not that I think I'm gonna make much progress today. I just killed a few more. But I think getting back to that route by the large warehouse would be safe. I'm hearing more. This is really not too good, but... He, he had a revolver. Even though I didn't find a single watch on any of them, that was kind of worth it. This one is supposed to be quieter, as far as I know. Which is saying something, because all of the guns in Project Zomboid are pretty much a death sentence. The only reason I used a shotgun earlier is it's got a good spread. No, really, if if it has a good spread, then it, uh, it'll train your aiming faster. Not that I really trust it. And right now, it looks like it's time to go home. I didn't actually know how this worked, but you could use a sneaky L when you crouch and then call out. More options. More options is always good. Well, the cover of Nightfall turned out to be a good ally here. And it looks like shooting off that shotgun might have given me an entryway back into this large warehouse. And it's always good to have a vantage point from which to start. So so while I don't know if I could see this place becoming our main base, it's definitely a good place from which to launch off all expeditions into Muldraw. I think we're finally ready to tackle the town, a task I've never actually undertaken with the CDDA challenge, let alone have I ever even made it back into town to begin with. Very exciting. I, I look really, really tired. I have changed significantly. Anyway, that's probably enough for today. I've just been enjoying living as a collection of pixels in a game. It's it's more fun to play Project Zomboid if you actually imagine that you are your character. I mean, every game in general is more fun to do that. Like I said, to live is to play the game. It's gratifying to progress and improve. I still have no combat power almost whatsoever. Everything that I do is just through cheesing strategies I've discovered over a long time. Would be nice to obtain a few firearms, maybe a better melee weapon, but I think we're gonna leave it there for today. Anyway, as always, God bless the AA support group. Thanks for helping keep me alive. I don't say it enough, so genuinely thank you. Thanks for the Twitter love. I, uh, I'm gonna start posting more random memes soon. And, uh, maybe some philosophical shit posting or ancient wisdom to begin with. I think we'll leave it there. Lots to do, more ground to cover next time. Potatoes to harvest, chocolate to eat. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.